Good morning. <clears throat> Welcome to Mornings with Michael. We were absent yesterday. Um, so I hope everybody had a great weekend. And there's a lot of earnings on tap. So let's get our program started. This is brought to you for information and educational purposes only. <clears throat> General Motors, GM, quarter two adjusted EPS $1.91 versus estimate $1.85. Whirlpool, WHR, quarter two adjusted EPS $4.21 versus estimate $3.76. Mastercraft Boat Holdings, MCFT, announces a new $50 million share repurchase authorization. True Blue, TBI, second quarter EPS, 17 cents versus estimate, 23 cents. <clears throat> Walmart, WMT, upgraded overweight from neutral at Piper Sandler. Energy Range Resources, RRC, quarter two EPS, 30 cents versus estimate, 24. Zern LK Water ZWS second quarter EPS 24 cents versus estimate 22 cents. Financials AGNC Investment AGNC ticker symbol second quarter EPS 43 cents versus estimate 63. Alexandria Realty ARE second quarter of uh, 224 versus 219. Cadence Bank. CADE, second quarter EPS, 64 cents versus estimate 67. Enterprise Financial, EFSC, second quarter EPS, $1.29 versus $1.29. Goldman Sachs Group, GS, downgraded to neutral from buy at Citicorp, saying that the company targets are achievable, but it will take time and better investment banking environment to attain them. <clears throat> Washington, Trust, W-A-S-H, quarter two EPS, 66 cents versus estimate, 63 cents. WFS Financial, second quarter EPS, $1.12 versus estimate, $1.10. On to healthcare, GE Healthcare, G-E-H-C, quarter two adjusted EPS, 92 cents versus estimate, 88 cents. MedPace Holding, M-E-D-P, Second quarter EPS $1.93 versus estimate $1.91. Next gen healthcare, NXGN. First quarter adjusted EPS $0.24 cents versus $0.22. Cents. Industrials materials, 3M, MMM. Quarter two EPS $2.17 versus $1.72. Champion X Corporation, CHX. Quarter two EPS $0.48 cents versus $0.44. Cleveland Cliffs. CLF, quarter two EPS, 67 cents versus estimate 70. Dow Chemical, DOW, quarter two operating EPS, 75 cents versus 69. Crown Holding, CCK, quarter two EPS, $1.68 versus $1.64. General Electric, GE, quarter two EPS, 68 cents versus estimate 46 cents. Excel, H, H, XL, quarter two EPS, 50 cents versus 48 cents. Nucor, NUE in the steel sector, quarter two EPS, $5.81 versus 5.53. Packaging Corp, PKG, quarter two EPS, 231 versus SPEN $1.93. Simpson Manufacturing, SSD, quarter two EPS, 250 versus 205. And finally, Technology Media and Telecom, Agilisys, A-G-Y-S, first quarter, EPS, 18 cents versus 14. Cadence Design System, CDNS, second quarter, EPS, $1.08 versus $1.18. Crown Castle, CCI, initiated a restructuring plan as part of the company's efforts to reduce costs including reducing the company's total employee headcount by approximately 15%. F5 Networks, FFIV, quarter three EPS, 321 versus 286. Liberty Global, LBTYA, quarter two adjusted EBITDA, 601.4 million versus 
6.8 million last year. Logitech, L-O-G-I, quarter one EPS, 65 cents versus estimate 46 cents. But um, their outlook brought down the stock a little bit. NXP Semiconductors, NXPI, quarter two EPS, $2.67 versus estimate of 251. And Spotify, quarter two revenue, um, 3.18 billion euros up 11% year over year. And then we got, um, we have some upgrades. I'll see if I can get to them later. I'm gonna share our screen. First, we'll make sure that that's highlighted. S&P map. <clears throat> Share our screen here. Microsoft. Apple, a lot of tech is up today. Um, based on the upgrade, the NVIDIA got an upgrade. Let me pull up my screen here. Mizuho maintains a buy and NVIDIA raises price tag target to 530. RBC Capital maintains outperform on HubSpot, raises price target to 625. And uh, RBC raises price target on, um, well, I guess that's the, the same. Barclays maintains overweight on SLB. Lowers price target to seventy dollars. Uh, Nvidia's AI revenues to skyrocket ten times and hit three hundred billion by twenty twenty seven. Says analyst. Shopify stock, which was up earlier, is now down as analyst turns up beat over focus on large sellers. Um, and that's kind of a First run look at some of the upgrades. Financials, it looks like they're a little down today. Uh, tech is up. Energy is a mixed bag. Industrials, healthcare is up. Some issues are down. Um, Utilities is a mixed bag, and then industrials mostly up. So that's a look at um, our heat map of the S&P 500. Let's go share a screen. First, um, even though it's down today, we're going to take a look at Ethereum. Looks like they're rounding out for a cup with a handle. This is one of the most basic of formations proven over time to um, generate good returns. Whether it does or not remains to be seen. Bitcoin, looking at the Bitcoin ETF, it's trending down. Also looks like it's trying to form a cup with a handle. So we'll keep an eye on that. Um, American National Bank shares gapping up 20% today. Uh, earnings came in a 13% increase. Um, doesn't really have an earnings surprise number, but that's the story there. And we'll come back to uh, where the big money is flowing in a moment. 
first have a look at the dollar. <clears throat> dollar is um, staying pretty flat, not much movement there. Silver is trying to get above all of its major averages. This looks like a cup with a handle to me, if I've ever seen it. Um, it's being called a flat base. So we'll continue to watch that. Gold. Kind of moving out flat. Take a look at um, your treasury. Gapping up today. Um, we'll see if that can maintain that. Had this strong move over here, sold off, and then came back up again, and now it's gapping up today. Take a look at our 20 year. Looks like it's trying to move higher as well. Look at um, the NASDAQ. Uh, it's moving up even though the treasuries are uh, jumping up. Take a look at the equal weighted S&P 500. Continue to move higher. IWM. We have a lot of those regional banks in there. It's doing well. KRE has been rebounding off of the bottom here, continues to perform well. And look at the Dow and Dow Jones, which has been laggard and now has been leading leading sector. So we'll just see if uh, money continues to flow into industrials. Here's some of our ETFs. Got a little pullback in financials. Looks like there's some money moving into energy. Maybe um, rotation, rotating out of tech. Um, some of that money and putting into energy. Take a look at our oil prices. And they're starting to move up again. Communication sector, Meta and Google are in. It's just um, sold off here, pulled back to its 20 day, and now it's just um, <clears throat> marking time, which is probably a good idea, allowing the moving averages to catch up. Biotech, not much going on there. Our software sector with the, some of the upgrades is popping up a little bit today. Technology as well. <clears throat> Take a look at semiconductors. They're starting to perk up to life, bouncing off of the 20 day moving average there. Airlines are selling off here. Building materials. Wow, look at that move. That might be something you want to look under the hood and see what. Stocks are in that category. We can just go take a look here. Bunch of these are leveraged ETFs.
There's another way to look at this. Just take a just stop the share and then share the screen. So here are the top 10 holdings, Linde PLC, Air Products and Chemicals, Free, Freeport Macromaran, Ecolab, Nucor, Corteva, Dow, PPG Industries, and Newmont. Stop the share. Let's just go look at a couple of them. F. As we can see, FCX is moving up. We've had some good volume numbers over here, and now it looks like it's moving up. Uh, looks like a double bottom formation. Here's the middle of the W. And um, take a look at SCO. So then copper is moving up big time as well. Looks like it's getting ready to break out in our favorite. Arrow copper is moving up as well. So they, there you have a quick look there, and XHB. Our home builders, looks like they're bouncing as well. So that's a look at our trending ETFs. Before we look at um, the educational Section. Let's go back, um, see where the big money is flowing. Here's another big mover today. A um, lot of volume, a lot of buying. Earnings up 172%, 229% earnings surprise. Um, we got Logitech International, 12.5%. They were in the news. One of the last items in the news, their earnings came in a negative. 12%, but that was a 54% earnings surprise. Let's see what else we got going here. Got a couple of Chinese issues, up 3.64, Futu Holdings, a brokerage platform, EDD, Third party mobile e commerce up 4%. Datadog gapping up, up 4.6%. Their earnings aren't for another 14 days. Um, <clears throat> you can see the um, estimated earnings. Um, we, we got a breakout in the relative strength, the new high. So this is uh, telling you that the stock is going to be moving up. Another issue in the that was in the news: 
Champion X, drilling technology, artificial lift solutions, moving up. Uh, earnings came in at a plus 75%, 22.5% earnings surprise, up 1.61. PPG, maker of paints, up 1.62%. Um, Earnings came in at 24%. Here's a, another mover that had moved prior. International Seaways, earnings in 15 days. Look at this volume, volume starting to come in here. Up 4.15% today. We're gonna look at this, this is Tidewater. Getting some um, buying strength. And now let's see what's down in price where people are moving out of. Raytheon Technologies gapping down three, 13.79. I believe they had an engine problem on Possibly one of the planes. Spotify, which was in the news, 